All right, gear on gear. Um, Vogue World just for Valiant as musician to watch in 2023. Gear on gear. Um, that's good. For uh. Valiant, uh, is Valiant to say? It's only like you said Vogue. I did say Vogue. But you never said Valiant. I did, did say, say Valiant. Valiant. I said va- Vogue. Vogue Vogue is for Valiant. Oh, that's a lot of V's. That's yeah, why the yeah. alliteration. Oh, you're frost. You're drunk. <laughs> um, you know, it was it's a good look actually. You know, British Vogue to 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 have an interest in him. Like I'm I'm wondering, is it a was it like a PR sense? But then you know, like you know, press releases. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, look, look, Valiant, da 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 da. But this look like you know a legitimate story. So yeah. Um, Vogue made the announcement via its um official website and urges users to familiar to to familiarize themselves. With the artists before they blow up in 2023. Mm-hmm. Valiant Rosa Stalin with Catch Your Phrase on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Blah, blah, blah. And give some background from Valiant. Um, the other artists who made the Vogue list are Clavish, Hailey, Debbie, Lola, Brooke, Dami, JD Beck. Those are like foreign Coco artists. Jones, yeah. So um, <laughs> I think this was a legit thing. Yeah. So mm-hmm. big ups to Valiant. Valiant. I mean, this, this is high. This is pressure on him, though. This go? is pressure on him. Like, yeah, keep up the good work. Everybody is looking at it like, is it a fluke or is it like legit mm-hmm. talent surfacing to the top? Like him literally get his, him, you know, his popularity was, or him get viral attention based off just a slang, mm. you know? And then him get him push out a couple hit songs. It's like, people are like, well, is this a fluke? Is well, I, I don't thing? think his talent was ever in question because mm-hmm. the talent was always there. Mm-hmm. Um, but is as this people a came to discover with when them really go back and listen yeah. to him songs, them mm-hmm. based off of him getting viral mm-hmm. off of the slang. But um, the flu could come about just him just combining combining the elements. You see me, them, them unspoken thing there. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Them intangibles there. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, I think that that's one thing that he got together mm-hmm. that make him kind of take off right now. I think probably never there get before the mm-hmm. break. Um, can he keep it up? That's the question. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Is it a um, flu? You know what I mean? That's what we, we, what we are going to say for this year. Mm-hmm. But as it yeah, as it stands right now, like he's on a good trajectory. Like this is a damn good look. He's so still, still a produce good music. Good songs, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, he might travel, he might do shows overseas. Mm-hmm. Um, the song, they might sound good. They're connecting. Mm-hmm. Um, I think probably he want to forward to a time where he probably want to slow down a little. That's a little. In terms of In terms the amount of, the of songs amount of song release. Where I, where I release. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, like as soon as they start groove to one and get used to it, then him release the next one is like it kill. Yeah. I think, he, I think that was intentional before. because he wants to be able to do a good set. You can still space it out. I think so too. But him, but the, because the moment I realize most of these artists are trying to capitalize on the moment. Of course. Mm-hmm. So you know, you know, one just have one song I sing, and you know, like the one major song which is "Don't Shake" where everybody know, mm-hmm. or if you know, you know, he might try get a lot. Like him just want to do a full a couple of them of people love yeah. and no one I sing. Yeah. So it's not like just one song you dash every minute, but you have a couple of songs where you can like people know and a group to him have five songs at the time that was like simultaneously on the chart back to back to back to back. Mm-hmm. That was a major feat. On the YouTube charts at least. Yeah. So no, I mean I can understand why him do that. That's what I'm saying. I can understand why him would I release the song. Of course, you can understand why artists do that on a whole, but you just a pretty big picture, say. Mm. Even though you are get the money, no one get it fast. Like you still want pre the bigger picture in regards to your career and how mm-hmm. you know want really the song them are cannibalize itself mm-hmm. themselves. True. Um really. True. Um and you know uh, become too frequenting other people them I like the only person who may see kind of do that and do that to a higher level is of course you know vice cartel mm-hmm. um <laughs> yeah he's the anomaly but yeah we see it kind of up to skin where it seemed like people kind of here yeah, if i'm right now um i just had a caution to say to him say just be careful of that mm. yeah True. And I mean, you know, I'll just become the YouTube artist. Mm. And I mean, I, I would advise him. That's why I mean, when we talk about the, the Antigua thing and the dub, I'm the. Mm-hmm. I say, I need a pretty big picture. I can't just, I just 
or out him services. Sorry for that term, but just or out him services just willy nilly just because it's a check. Because of money, yeah. Because of money, you know what I mean? Like, you really have a pretty big picture. Like, do these things align with where I see myself in five years? Like, you have a pre them thing. Yeah. If you really want to take him career to the next level mm-hmm. and not just be local viral sensation for a couple months, which mm-hmm. is what some people might categorize him in right now, yeah. like, him have a pre them thing, man. You know what I mean? But again, Big ups to Valiant for this. This is a damn good look. It is. Um, yeah. Just hope same. The, the momentum can keep steady for the rest of 2023. Yeah. 